Hello, and welcome to another edition of Trill Ass Trailers. My name is Kenny Kynes, and I only review movie trailers because whole movies remind me of your face, and frankly, I really hate your face. This week, Marvel prepares to bloody another summer into submission with its latest offering, Captain America Civil War, the 13th movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, slightly edging out the other MCU, the Medea Cinematic Universe. And as an added bonus, if you're a man over 30 wearing a Captain America t-shirt, you'll finally be able to openly masturbate in the theater. Guys, we did it! New York, Washington, D.C. Sokovia. Okay, that's enough. Oh really, like this is not the first time a 98 year old white man has fucked up everything for everybody else? The original Civil War comic storyline was an enormous crossover event that actually built on other crossover events that led to massive changes in the Marvel Universe. But of course, to help streamline this story for film, the writers decided only to focus on slavery. This movie seems to have the most heroes yet, with new additions such as Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat and Wakandan leader Black Panther, played by Chadwick Boseman who was actually Disney's second choice behind Tom Hanks. Captain America Civil War has the heroes fighting each other. That means they've actually beaten up every bad guy and now they're fighting themselves, which is great because it keeps them from beating up our will to enjoy cinema. And do they even really need to make trailers for these movies? I mean, they're making insane amounts of money. I mean, look what they got coming down the line. Black Panther, uh, Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and Marvel's newest hero, Disney shareholder. You just started a war. So there you have it. Another Marvel movie ready to go for the summer. Looks pretty good, but honestly, probably nothing we haven't seen before. Under Ruth! Hey everyone. Oh.